obviously now you're in your second year so you've, you've just been through your your first year what has the university experience been like for you and i know obviously at the minute it's been a very different experience to what anything you might have had or you're expecting but generally obviously let's go back to september of last year up until february time what was that experience like for you i really enjoyed my time at university so far because um it's kind of like you have your own independence away from home. That's like the first thing. And you, you know, it's like you have to stand on your own two feet, but it's kind of enjoyable to be able to be a bit more independent rather than relying on your parents. Um, and then I think one of my like biggest um, highlights is meeting like lots of different new people and especially like people from different countries because, you know, you get to make friends from different parts of the world and it's just like, you know, it's a, I think I, I really enjoyed that part of it um, and then um, there's been like obviously we have like lots of social events at uni and um, it's just uh, been a really enjoyable experience so far. Probably to the, the students watching this now they will they would have done placements as part of their um, course but can you tell us a bit about the placements maybe that you've been on what are they like which ones have you enjoyed? Um, do you want to know about placements before like when I was at college or now at I'm university like, yeah at uni yeah so um the placements i've been on so far i've done two weeks at a dairy farm which i'd done um the beginning of august this year um which was really enjoyable i was um involved with a lot of like calf management and um uh, milking so i'd like do milking in the morning and then i would um do um look after the calves uh, from like the morning on uh, after the milking onwards until lunchtime and that would be making sure that they um, you know they're bedded up properly or if they need milk so I would feed, bottle feed them stuff like that so um, that was I really enjoyed that placement because it was quite I love cows so it was just really really enjoyable but some of the other places have been on um uh, last summer i went to um the deep uh, which is in hull it's like a big aquarium and i also did um a week at safari park so i got to see like the wildlife slash exotic side of things which is an interest to me and um especially like at the aquarium i'd never like worked with marine animals or um, no i didn't know much about like how you would manage uh marine systems and it was very eye-opening to see how they manage these such large large tanks and, and big volumes of water in in aquariums and stuff like that yeah that sounds... yeah that was i think that was definitely like one of my highlights the the aquarium was um i've also done uh two weeks on like a sheep farm doing lambing and two weeks on a pig unit and two weeks on the horse uh stable yard so the, those placements are um, part of 12 weeks, which you have to do before you can move on to your clinical. Um, when you move on to your clinical years, you have to do those 12 weeks prior to starting clinical years. Yeah. So um, I just completed those 12 weeks this summer. So um, I'm happy about that. Great. Yeah. It sounds like you've like worked with such a variety of animals as well. It's not like you've just worked with you know kind of animals that are just from the farms or like the farming industry you've kind of you've had a real broad experience of placements and I guess does that really is that really good to help you kind of decide what area or what kind of animals you'd like to work in, with in the future? Yeah that's definitely like helped me because I know like I want to potentially work with wildlife but it's always it's um it's more for a niche area which you might need extra you know qualifications in but I also wanted to look at other areas um, that I could potentially work in and um, I do really enjoy like working with large animals that's a lot of your farming animals so it's helped me kind of it's opened my eye to each kind of sector and um, part of the animal uh, animal industry so like going forward into my clinical years it'll probably help me decide better on my clinical placements whether what I'd want to do um, more often what I'd want to do less of. Yeah that's great and also as part of your course as well can you tell us a bit about some of like the favourite subjects or topics that you've studied that you found really fascinating? Um, I really enjoy locomotion which is like learning how like the animal moves um, and uh, it looks at like um, uh, muscle, skeletal muscle and stuff like that and how the muscle works with the bones and stuff like that how it all kind of how um, 
animal movement all ties in together. Um, you know, you that's you learn a lot about an, anatomy in in that strand. Um, so you get to know the skeleton quite well. Um, and I also really enjoy like the animal husbandry side of things, which is, you know, how uh, to look after animals basically in uh, the correct way to um, manage different animals. So we'll do we do like. Um, we, we it's normally like species by species, so we'll do like lectures on pigs, lectures on sheep, lectures on cows, and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, and I've also really enjoyed which is the digestive system. That's just really interesting, and it's something that I kind of can get my head around. Um, I think you always enjoy the things which you understand better. Um, that was one thing like I I could get my head around a little bit better was how the digestive system works. How has university helped you in kind of your career de development? I've obviously wanted to go into the animal management industry, but also personally as well. How has that helped uh, develop you whilst you've been at university? I think personally it's helped me develop, um, just academically it's definitely helped me develop, um, you know, writing essays and stuff like that. Um, I think I've definitely improved in, in that kind of academic side of things. Um, and also just with like my confidence overall, because when you come into university, um, you kind of meet people who all have similar, um, you know, you might all be on the same, on the, you're on the same page essentially, because you're not all gonna get thing, uh, the thing, like if there's something you don't get, it's most likely a lot of people don't get, it's not just you. Um, and you can like um, talk to them and, you know, learn from each other. Um, and definitely, like, I think with my confidence has probably improved just in in regards to, like, um, talking and, uh, like, in front of groups of people and, like, with doing, um, like, a lot of um, presentations, stuff like that. It's something at college which I was really nervous about. And even at school, I didn't really particularly like, um, you know, talking to large groups of people. If I was at school, I probably wouldn't have the confidence to do something like this. So it's definitely helped me kind of improve that self-confidence I think a little bit. For my career development I think the placements we have to go on I think um, have definitely helped my career development in, in just in the sense of practic practical skills um, even not just the placements like we get practical sessions while we're at, uh, on site and during the term time and that really helps tie in your your theory with your practical so it helps that kind of career progression because it is quite a practical practical career and I think working with animals in general is quite a practical career so um, you you do need that um, theory element and the practical element to tie it together nicely.